Morning guys. So we've just had our overnight camp at Dingo Caravan Park. So we've got some recce ready, so we've got the overnight oats again. Uh, we're going to smash that down. And now uh, we'll head into Blackdown Table and National Park, which is where the adventure begins. So we'll be doing lots of full driving around and also hiking some of the tracks. Pretty much left Dingo, probably about half an hour ago, and then we started coming down this, uh, this little road, which leads all the way out to Munal Campground, which is where we're heading tonight, which is in the Blackdown Table and National Park. We just stopped here to get a couple of pickies. This uh, amazing, amazing vista, right down over the tablelands and up into the mountains. Guys, look at this, look at this view. So we've basically driven all the way up this mountain range that we saw originally as we drove into the tablelands. You could sit here all day, couldn't you? Pretty Just come down to Horseshoe Lookout, which is just past the information centre. Look right down into the gorge there. Alright, so we've just checked out the uh, lookout. Now it's time to hit the dirt road and uh, head into the National Park. I'm just going to drop the tyre pressure down a bit. The uh, road's been pretty bumpy, so it's all rocky, sort of strange. So, drop the tyre pressure down, about 25 maybe, 24. Make it a bit more comfortable and not ruin the track as well. Smacking. These are really good. We haven't eaten these before. They're really good. Sweet chili. Very much. So we've got a two kilometre hike down to the water and then a 1.8k hike to the actual lookout. Just looking through all these bushes we're walking along and you can see all the new undergrowth coming up and the rest of the bush is all uh, all been burnt through with the fire. It's pretty pretty impressive to see all this fresh undergrowth coming up through all these burnt out trees. So here we go, we've got 240 steps to Rainbow Falls. Looks like it goes straight down. Let's do it. <laughs> so we made it to Rainbow Falls and it is amazing. Pretty, pretty Incredible. awesome. Incredible. You can see it here behind us. Pretty keen for a swim now. Yeah. Oops. Excellent. Pretty hot walking down. 
sort of warmed up, so it should be perfect for a swim. <laughs> Just come down the bottom of the waterfalls and another separate smaller fall. It just keeps going down to the gully. It's pretty amazing. The big cave down the bottom there. Just climb down a little bit further. Right guys, so we spent a bit of time exploring around Rainbow Falls and we're pretty impressed by this place, it's bloody amazing. So we're pretty much going to head back up the walking track, head out of here and we'll jump back in the car and go to the next destination. As we've uh, come back from the Rainbow Falls, we've started on the four drive loop and we're going to do this loop which goes to a lookout and then comes back around to the campsite. the view from the lookout. Pretty impressive view. Right, here we go, into the Munal campground. Let's see what it looks like. So now we've made it to camp, we're gonna head out onto the cultural circuit walk. Little remains of the cookhouse drovers used when they visited Blackdown to muster cattle. This simple lean-to was built around 1950 from logs and bark 
The sloping roof was formed by sheaths of bark laid across a log frame and held in place by poles lashed to the frame with wire. Bark sheaths sandwiched between poles formed the walls. The stones here are the remnants of the cooking fireplace. Food was stockpiled by station hands before the muster in nearby caves. The drovers slept in tents nearby. Aboriginals of the Gungaloo people visited a Blackdown tableland for thousands of years and had an intimate knowledge of the plants and animals here. They used only what they needed, rarely destroying the whole plant to obtain food. We've got banks here in front of us. Not much of banks here, but it's all been burnt through with a fire. It's all regrown. This is saying that during autumn and winter, the banks here produces flower spikes covered in nectar for up to four months. Gungaloo people extracted banks here nectar either by soaking the flower in a coolerman of water or by rolling the flower around the back of their hands and then by licking nectar off their skin. The sticky resin that oozes from grass tree trunks was used by the Gungaloo people when making stone tools. When gently heated over a fire, the resin softens and can be moulded and used to set stone chips on wooden handles for axes or adzes. Upon cooling, the resin hardens, holding the chips firmly in place. These stencils were probably made by the Gungaloo people who visited this area thousands of years ago. Their art is a visible relic of their way of life which left little mark on the land and proof of Gungaloo's continuing connection to country today. <laughs> I'm setting up at Nile Campground. Pretty good day of exploring. Pretty awesome. I've seen some amazing places here in Blackdown Tablelands. Very impressive place. The police has got the job of taking out all the guy ropes. Hammer skills. So you've got a little fire pit over here. Little fire pit. So we'll have a little fire later on. So we just bought a new Coleman tent not too long ago because our Coleman tent that we had for about five, six years started, the frame started to sort of fall uh, to one side so it was sort of misshaped. So we ended up getting a new Coleman tent which is this one, which is really awesome. So it's got the normal tent there, and then it's got this nice undercover area at the front here, which is about maybe one and a half, two meters. So you can shut the door there, and you get a nice area in the front there, which is really awesome when it's raining or if you want to put your chairs away at night so they don't get dew on them and stuff like that. So we found it really, really good. So I just wanted to show you guys a quick little tip that I've uh, figured out with the Titan drawers. So this single drawer I've got here. So it's really good, but there's no way of latching it out. So when you're on a hill, it wants to constantly fall in. So all I've done is down in here, I've drilled a hole. So I've drilled a hole straight here through the frame. And I've just kept my little bolt. So I'll keep my bolt here. Where it looks to drill a hole just in there just to hold the bolt. And then I take that bolt, pull out the drawer, and then that sits in there and holds the drawer out. So there you go, that's my little tip for the Titan drawers to stop them going back in. So I've found that to be really, really handy. So it's dinner time again guys. We've set up camp and we have now our favourite bush dinner. Favourite bush camping nachos. dinner. We're doing bush nachos again tonight. So that's the best thing about it. Once you get the stuff you can pretty much do two nights and then 
you'll have some nachos left over to snack on as well. So it's while you wait. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Snacking and cooking the nachos. They look pretty good. Check these out. Oh yeah. Crispy nachos. Look at that. Oh, I'm excited. Let's dig in. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this fire going. Fire's blazing now. Just took a little bit for the wet wood to sort of dry out a bit. And uh, got a nice fire going now. It's actually getting a little bit chilly. Alright guys, we got the fire cranking, we're all settled in for the night, so we're just going to sit here and watch the bush TV for a bit, <laughs> chill out, it's been a bloody awesome day exploring Blackdown Table and National Park, we're pretty impressed with it aren't we? It's pretty awesome, yeah. I definitely recommend it. Incredible. If you guys are looking for an amazing spot to camp and some amazing hikes and waterfalls and places to see, this is definitely one spot to put on the list, and very high on the list that is too. Yeah. So we're going to leave you guys here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more four-wheel driving, camping, and accessory fitting videos. Cheers, guys. See ya. See ya.